Hello YouTube. I'm here to show my CB base setup. It's nothing really that big, but I ran into a few problems and just throwing them out there trying to see if I can get some questions answered. So this is my CB base right now. Got it hooked up to a standard 12 volt DC power supply. Uh, works pretty good. I like it right now. Now, what I do with this is I I, I used to have an uh, issue with getting the coax to run outside to my antenna. And the way I do that is I have the coax, I have one coax cable running all the way behind my dresser all the way up here to where the window is and that is in fact a TV cable uh, connector I had one of my friends uh, dad crimp that for me and it works pretty good as a connector and then it goes into a ribbon cable that I got offline now they do have a uh, a coax ribbon cable adapter but that was extremely expensive compared to this which was about uh, I don't know two dollars for this this ribbon when the actual legit one was about uh, 50 I think so that goes into the window and I'll probably have to open the window to show you this but then goes to a male male connection of the same connection goes to a uh, a TV coax to um, to uh, uh, rate I right the radio coax to a barrel to convert it to a female end back to another piece of coax which goes all the way up to my antenna and I'll show the other side of the setup outside but my problem is right now is I want to get a linear running on that thing and I, I, I don't have a problem with buying thicker coax but my problem is I, I really doubt I could run uh, more than uh, 50 watts through this without something bad happening and I'm still not too comfortable with this setup because it does it is solid it isn't really makeshift or ghetto but I still haven't checked it with the SWR meter I don't even have an SWR meter yet so I look forward to getting one of those and at least I'm also afraid I'm losing RF power through this I might uh, lose RF power through somewhere through the connection but I'll just have to figure that out once I have a meter it's about it's about 445 I think and it's starting to get dark out so I need to get this done quick but there's the other end of the CB coax coming out of the screen where all the adapters are that mess and it goes up to my antenna uh, mounted on the old satellite dish where the old dish network dish used to be it works great I like it I was I just had to take the dish off and level it out and it works perfectly and there's a 102 inch whip up there sorry it has trouble focusing but that thing goes pretty far it goes all the way to Stafford and in where I am Stafford's a good 10 miles away and there's a lot in the way of it he can trans I he can hear my transmissions my friend but he can't yet transmit to me but hopefully we can get past that sometime uh, next to the coax you can see another wire coming down that's my ground wire it goes all the way down up over the uh, cellar doors and ends up right here on an old uh, grounding rod hard to see but it's an old grounding rod used to be for the TV antenna that was on my house a long long time ago talk about 
utilizing what you have I I'm using the old uh, the old uh, ground rod and I'm also using where the old satellite dish used to be it works great but yeah only problem is I'm not so sure what to do with the coax problem and having it running through my window at 500 watts or less I mean I, I don't think I could do more than 50 watts and I don't want to spend money on 50 watts I want to go big or not at all so if I could get any suggestions or answers to my questions that'd be great when I was done filming the outside video I realized that um, it'd probably be a good idea to film it just show all my CB stuff so I'll just give it to her obviously I have the Cobra uh, 19 uh, standard cheap cheapest radio they have when I bought it I didn't know as much as I did I kinda wish I got one with an analog meter because I really don't like the digital meter but it works good uh, it's okay some people say I sound muffled but with this new setup in the 102 inch whip I don't sound muffled at all so it's good for now and it works great right there um, I have two more antennas other, other than the uh, 102 inch whip I have a Wilson 2000 trucker antenna that my uncle generously gave me I also have a fiberglass whip antenna which all, my uncle also gave me I don't know who makes it but I really thank him for that and I have my ham radio book that I was reading before I decided to do this video uh, that's another thing I plan to get a station running once I have my license and uh, have it running right near my CB and have it running through the same area I, I can't drill any holes so I'm kinda out of luck I have no idea what to do but that's pretty much an overview of oh wait a minute I forgot one thing I recently purchased a Midland handheld uh, seven five seven eight five works real good for a handheld I think does take nine AA batteries kind of a downer but once you get it get it on rechargeables you'll be fine I like to use that or when I'm bored and I'm not taking a long ride but uh, this Macintosh wizard with his CB equipment his CB uh, overview and Macintosh wizard is signing out